Welcome back guys to yet another NBA 2K15 My DM video rebuilding the Milwaukee Bucks Thank you guys for all the support lately Lately, Make sure we hit 75 likes if you guys want to see the next episode So I've got a new style with this series Let me know if you guys like it or not But without further ado, let's get right into this video so three quarters through the game, Al Jefferson and the Charlotte Hornets have absolutely been killing the Milwaukee Bucks. It hasn't been any contention. They have just taken over in this game. Tyler Zeller as well has been killing us on the offensive boards, but Jared Sullinger has been beastly for us tonight, as well as Jabari Parker making his NBA debut. So heading into the fourth quarter, Bucks trail in this game. Let's get right into the action. So 49-58, Kemba Walker has the ball, finds Al Jefferson putting in the nice left-hand layup. You just can't stop Kemba Walker in this game. There was a phenomenal point guard matchup with uh, Kemba Walker versus Brandon Knight. And ultimately, Kemba Walker would end up winning that matchup, but Michael Kidd Gilchrist is going to miss the shot. Zeller will miss the shot as well. And th that, was, that was one of the rare plays where the Bucks actually had, actually played some great defense. I mean... Hornets were just killing us offensively and uh, yeah, so as I have a quick break in the action I will be doing a new style with these my GM videos I will be putting like two to three games into one video instead of having one game in a single video So that means like I'll say I have three games a week I will have all three games in, in one video and I'll probably play the entire game show highlights But only really commentate over the fourth quarter and this is kind of a preview like it. In this game, I'll only have the game against the Hornets. But that's because I have a few signings and trades at the end of this video. So 58-66 now with a minute left in the fourth quarter. Trying to make a quick comeback. Jabari for three. Gets it to go. Shortening down the lead to only five points. But Hornets were just too strong for us. Zeller dunking over Larry Sanders on the play right there. We're back down to nine. Jabari pump fakes. Three ball. Gets it to go. Too little, too late, man. We are down by six. And the Milwaukee Bucks, despite a phenomenal rebuilding effort to start the year, bringing in Jared Sollinger and Evan Turner. Uh, it just didn't work out for us in this game. I mean, all our players played great. Brandon Knight led the way with 19. Sollinger had 14. And uh, Jabari Parker did decent. Scored seven points, but did great on the defensive side of the ball. So I couldn't be any happier with how the way we play. Although we come out in this game with the L. It doesn't really matter. I'm really proud on how we played. So, I got a quick question. Most of you guys have been telling me that since I got OJ Mayo and Evan Turner, I might as well trade one of those players instead of having one of them come off of the bench. So, let me know. Should I trade OJ Mayo or should I trade Evan Turner? Or should I just keep both the players? Let me know in the comments section down below. But, I mean, I, I think we still played a phenomenal game. Not bad for a season opener. New faces, new places. Not bad for the first game. So, Evan Turner sprained his ankle early in this game. Didn't show it in this video. But I'm just going to make him play through it. Hopefully, he can recover. And hopefully, make me making him play through it won't affect him in the long run. So, we get a quick question from the press right here. Asking me, what am I trying to accomplish here in Milwaukee? Well... This is a rebuilding effort, as you guys know. I'm just going to try to consistently improve week in and week out, day in and day out. And yeah, so that is it for uh, this video. There is going to be, next episode, we will be playing the 76ers and the Wizards, both in the same video. I'll show a little some highlights of the 76ers game and some highlights of the Wizards game. So yeah, make sure you guys hit that like button, 75 likes if you want to see the next episode tomorrow.